Hello friends, welcome in the fifth part of the carboxylic acid. In this video, we will see uh, dicarboxylic acids. We know that the dicarboxylic acids are nothing but the carboxylic acid, no doubt. But there is a presence of two COOH group, that is two carboxyl groups. This video mainly deals with the succinic acid and a thalic acid. One of them is a aliphatic dicarboxylic acid and other is aromatic dicarboxylic acid. And here we are going to see a methods of formation and the chemical reaction of either thalic acid or a succinic acid. Now see the different examples of dicarboxylic acid. Here in the oxalic acid, two COOH group they are joined together. Whereas in case of malonic acid, the two COOH group they are separated by a CH2 group. In the succinic acid, the two COOH group they are separated by two CH2 group. It is the aliphatic dicarboxylic acid. Whereas in case of thalic acid, a two COOH group they are joined to the aromatic ring at the ortho position. It is the aromatic dicarboxylic acid. So let's begin with the aliphatic dicarboxylic acid that is a succinic acid. Succinic acid, it is having a structure which we have discussed in the introduction that is CH2COOH, CH2COOH. Four carbons are there. So it is a butane doic acid. Now this acid, it can be prepared by a various method out of which we will see uh, two methods. First one is uh, ethylene dibromide. So this is the structure of ethylene dibromide which is also called as a dibromoethane. Now at the position of Br we have to attach here a COOH group for that purpose. This Br should be changed or replaced by a cyanide and that cyanide can be hydrolyzed into the COOH. It is the basic idea. So first step is the replacement of Br by cyanide for that purpose. Ethylene dibromide is treated with the potassium cyanide. Here the Br group it is replaced by cyanide and we get a ethylene dicyanide. Then this dicyanide it is hydrolyzed in which the cyanide gets converted into the COOH and here we get a succinic acid as a product. So ethylene dicyanide upon hydrolysis gives a succinic acid. Now the second method it is from a malic acid. We know that the malic acid contains carbon double bond carbon and the remaining structure it is same as that of the succinic acid. But we have to put here a single bond. For that purpose, the double bond is reduced in presence of metal catalyst and this hydrogen is going to add at this carbon and at this carbon by a reduction process. And here we get a succinic acid. So either from ethylene dibromide or from malic acid, we will prepare a succinic acid using a replacement reaction and hydrolysis in case of ethylene dibromide and a reduction in case of malic acid. Then we will see the chemical reactions of succinic acid. From this write up, you can get a clear idea about the chemical reactions of a succinic acid. Here, we will see the action of NaCO3, action of heat and action of alcohol that is ethanol in presence of acid that is sulfuric acid on succinic acid. The succinic acid it contains two carboxylic groups that is two COOH groups. So when it is treated with the sodium bicarbonate it is a typical acid base reaction and in the first step one of the hydrogen of this uh, succinic acid that is hydrogen which is attached to the oxygen it is replaced by sodium and it will give 
so acid sodium succinate here you can see this part it is nothing but the acid and the sodium succinate is there so when one molecule of nsco3 react with the one molecule of succinic acid it gives acid sodium succinate which further reacts with the second molecule of sodium bicarbonate and here the second hydrogen from the oxygen it is replaced by a sodium so here we get a disodium salt and which is also called as a sodium succinate so the succinic acid it will form acid sodium succinate as well as a sodium succinate then the second reaction it is a dehydration reaction here you can find a oh group is there and here also oh group so this oh group it will combine with the hydrogen of other carboxylic group and it is removed as a water molecule so here you will see a water molecule when it is happening the succinic acid when it is heated then the water molecule is eliminated and the remaining structure forms a cyclic ring and it is nothing but the anhydride and the name is succinic anhydride so the action of heat on the succinic acid is nothing but the formation of succinic anhydride the third reaction it is the action of ethanol and acid on the succinic acid it is just a esterification reaction so whatever the carboxylic group is present it will convert into the ester it is like addition of nsco3 in the first step we get uh, one molecule of ester and one molecule of here uh, acid that is we called it as acid ethyl succinate because one oh group is as it is then when it reacts with the alcohol and sulfuric acid in the second step also then the hydrogen it also replaced by alkyl group so that here we get o ch5 o ch5 that is diethyl succinate here i have said the hydrogen replacement but the actual is the oh group is replaced by a alkoxy group that is o c2 h5 group so here we get acid ethyl succinate and diethyl succinate these are the reaction of a uh, succinic acid now in this video we will see a uh, aromatic dicarboxylic acid a phthalic acid it is the famous aromatic dicarboxylic acid always used for the detection purpose or in case of organic spotting let's see the methods of formation of phthalic acid it is from arthoxylin arthoxylin means the benzene ring attached with the two methyl group but they are at the ortho position and when this arthoxylin under o oxidation in presence of kmno4 we know that the side chain it will going to convert into the coh so that here we get a phthalic acid so the first method arthoxylin upon oxidation in presence of kmno4 gives a phthalic acid the second method it is from the naphthalene it is a three step reaction in the first step the naphthalene it is the fused aromatic compound with the two benzene ring when it is undergoing oxidation in presence of vanadium pentoxide that is v2o5 it gives a phthalic anhydride it is a specific oxidation in presence of v2o5 then this phthalic anhydride when it is treated with the sodium hydroxide that is naoh it will form a sodium phthalate that is a coo na coo na and here we are too close to the phthalic acid structure just we have to replace the sodium by hydrogen for that purpose the acidification is carried out and we get here a phthalic acid so first step is the oxidation second step is the reaction with the sodium hydroxide and third step is the acidification
here the first step is very much important this aromatic ring it is converted into the anhydride that is COO CO so from the naphthalene as well as from orthoxylene we can easily prepare a thalic acid now see the chemical reaction of thalic acid as like uh, succinic acid here we are also going to see a uh, three chemical reactions of thalic acid the thalic acid it reacts with the soda lime that is the combination of sodium hydroxide and calcium hydroxide this combination is called as a soda lime now the function of this soda lime is to remove a co2 group here you can find a 2 COOH group that's why a 2 CO2 group can be removed from this phthalic acid by treating it with the soda lime. So, in the first step, one of the COOH group, suppose this COOH group, it is eliminated, that is, a CO2 group is eliminated, then this hydrogen it will attach to this carbon, and here we get a benzoic acid in the first step now in the second step this benzoic acid also loses a co2 molecule and this hydrogen it will attach at this position so that here we get a benzene so thalic acid when reacts with the soda lime gives benzoic acid and benzoic acid when reacts with the soda lime give benzene by simply a elimination of CO2 group that is carbon dioxide then the second reaction it is a dehydration we know that there should be a removal of water molecule and a dicarboxylic acid is there so that here we get a anhydride which is a cyclic anhydride name of the structure is a thalic anhydride so a thalic acid when it is heated it gives a thalic anhydride and the last reaction of the thalic acid is the reaction with the ammonia that is NH3. When it is reacts with the ammonia at higher temperature that is 473 Kelvin and at a higher pressure it gives a thalamide. It is the similar type of structure as that of the thalic anhydride but instead of oxygen here there is a presence of NH group it is called as a thalamide so in this way a thalic acid gives benzoic acid or a benzene upon reaction with the soda lime upon dehydration it gives a thalic anhydride and when it reacts with the ammonia it gives a thalamide so this is all about the aliphatic as well as aromatic dicarboxylic acids their methods of formation and uh, chemical reactions of dicarboxylic acid. So with this we will stop here and in the next video that will be the last part of the carboxylic acid we will see there a uh, carboxylic acid derivative that is acyl halide and anhydride derivative. So till then Keep watching the YouTube videos and keep studying. Thank you very much.